Okay, here we are at the mortiser. A mortiser is nothing more than just a fancy drill press, really. Uh, we have a square chisel with a drill bit inside, a fancy drill bit inside that when it's turned on allows the chips to come out and we end up with a really beautiful little square hole just like that. So now that we've got our marks here laid out, our boundaries for the mortises, we can go ahead here and set this machine up to do this operation. The first thing we need to do is set the depth of this machine. Now the tenon that's going to be going into this mortise is 5 eighths of an inch long. There's no benefit to having the tenon completely bottom out in the mortise. There's no extra strength there. So if we make our mortise just slightly deeper than the length of the tenon, uh, we know that that joint is going to come fully home. So if, uh, if my tenon is 5 eighths, let's make this mortise at 11 sixteenths. So I'm going to take my ruler at 11 sixteenths of an inch and just put a little mark right there. Okay, so I have a little mark right at 11 sixteenths deep. And because my mortiser doesn't come down uh, far enough with this short little drill, the short little bit in here. I need this little spacer, and this little spacer is going to stay in here uh, whenever we're doing the legs for our nightstand. Okay, I'm going to bring the machine down and bring my leg right there, and I'm going to set the depth stop here. I can set the depth gauge so that my chisel comes right down to my layout line that I've just made there. Okay, and so I've already done that. Make sure that's good and snug. The next thing I need to do is set the distance from the fence to the mortise. I want to have a, exactly a quarter inch from the front face of my leg to where the mortise actually starts. So that means I need to have a quarter inch from the fence to the um, to the mortise or to the to the chisel here. So I can just take my ruler. and just make sure that I got a quarter inch here. And I've already set this up. If I was going to adjust this, uh, I would loosen the little table lock on the bottom here and crank this adjuster. This knob here adjusts this table forth and back in relation to the chisel. Okay, so that's all set. My depth, my fence adjustment. Now I can actually go ahead and clamp this in here. Okay, I can clamp my board in. Okay, making sure it's down nice and flat on my, my spacer. I can now use this big wheel here to rock the table forth and back and perfectly set my, my mortise right there. So, using safety glasses, I'm going to get this thing going here. Before I actually turn this machine on, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of uh, paste wax and with a rag and I'm just gonna put, you don't, you don't need a lot, but just rub some paste wax on this chisel and this really helps uh, this thing cut smoothly. It helps keep the bit a little sharper because it reduces the amount of heat that gets built up and it allows the chisel to go really nice and easily down into the wood and back out without sticking especially in a harder wood like this oak here. Okay, so we'll get right down into place and really be careful when you line this mortise up with your little knife mark that we made before. Turn it on, it's a really nice quiet machine. And we're gonna plunge all the way down till, our, till we come up against our depth stop. And I'm going to rock this all the way over to the opposite end. And down we go again. And now you're just going to clear out the waste in the middle. And I like to kind of do this just a couple of times just to make sure We've got all the waste out of there. Make sure that there's nothing gonna hang up and prevent my tenon from coming fully down to the bottom 
of the morning. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so now for the next mortise, if it was uh, close enough, I could just shuttle this thing over and go ahead and, and do it. But of course, because my leg is relatively long, I'm going to have to loosen my clamp off and reposition this. Okay, my next mortise is going to happen right here. But before I start my next mortise, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more wax. Uh, every time we start a new mortise, uh, we're going to put just a little bit more wax on here just to keep this thing going in and out of the wood nice and smooth. And there we have a really nice uh, square hole there, which we call a mortise. And that's pretty fun. It's a nice machine to use.